with a wonderful, beautiful, rainbow, fantastic, fantastic day. Ah, what a shiny, sonorific day. Uh huh. Ah. Ugh. Uh huh. That's weird. Oh well, this isn't a problem. All I can do is stop this problem and I can just get up. <clears throat> what the? I. I can't move my leaves. I can't move my head. Oh no. Blackbird! I don't know what's going on. Blackbird, help me! Help me! Blackbird! Ugh, not right now, Sunflower. I'm playing Angry Birds. Ugh, dang it, stupid yellow bird. Come on, I can kill this pig. This is all my might. Yes! Black bird, this is serious! I can't move! Well, can't you just get up? I can't! One second. Black bird, this is serious! Fine. Pause it. Now, I'm gonna go over there and see what's the trouble. Alright. Let's just see what's going on right now. Hurry, Blackbird, hurry! Gosh, I'm hurrying, okay, Sunflower. And, <gasps> help me. Why can't you move? And what's happening with your leaf? It's, that's what I'm worried about. It's from the Chocolate Factory mishap. Oh, yeah. Well, I really need my help. I can't, I just, I just can't move myself. I don't know what's wrong. I don't know what's wrong with me. I think I might wither and die. I don't know what's going to happen. Oh, no. No. Sunflower. Wait a minute. I know we can help her. I'll be right back, Sunflower. I need to go get everybody to come and help you. Let's. Let's -a go. Okay, and I was all like, so, why would you just uh, stand there and not let me shoot rainbows at me? I mean, seriously, stupid cheerily and da da da. I like waffles and, yeah, I was here with this stupid big, like, like, piranha plant, and he was trying to freaking kill me. And I was like, you're gonna go sit, go, go get Super Yoshi style. And then he's all like, everybody, everybody! What? There's something important I need to talk to you about. It's about Sunflower. She needs help. Something's wrong with her. And what is it? I honestly don't know, but we really need to figure out what to do. What's wrong with her? I don't know. She's been like lying on the counter and she just can't get up. It's just this huge problem. We really need to go find a cure for this. A huge one. And quick. I could go look it up on Google. Um... Sure, but I'm not really sure Google has any information about how a sunflower can't move her leaves because I don't think we should try freaking Google! I know, how will you find information about where sunflower came from? Um, yeah! Wait a minute, isn't Plants vs. Zombies where sunflower came from? Plants vs. Zombies, that's it! We could look it up there. Yeah, but Plants vs. Zombies is technically just a game where Sunflower came from. It doesn't say anything about how Sunflowers can't move their leaves. How do you know that, Gurr? I checked. But how do, what do you mean you checked? I mean, this didn't even happen until I came to you guys. Well, I did my research before stuff happens, okay? Ugh, fine, I guess I will leave you for some weird reason. Anyways, uh, if that doesn't work, then what are we going to do? Well, we might as well check up on Sunflower and see how she's doing. Okay, guys, let's go and- Oh my gosh! What happened? Did she get hurt? Did she fall off a cliff? Did she wither or die or get stepped on? Did she get shot by rainbows by Wilfrey? Hey, I don't shoot rainbows right now. Actually, if you think about it, I do. Let's just stop joking! Grr, what's wrong with her? You're gonna have to take a look. It's pretty bad. Huh? What happened in- Oh, no! How could this happen in the sunflower? How could- How could this happen? Guys, I think it's a sign she's dead. We all know that! Oh, sorry. No, a sunflower can't be dead! That little flower. 
She freaking saved my life. She gave me 20 bucks because I wanted to buy a new car. She, well, I don't know what she did for me, but I pretty much saved her life, but I always thought she was adorable. No, Sunflower. Ah, oh, well, she's dead. Let's just go get a burger and forget it. What did she say? Is she alive? I think she is. I think it's in some kind of cocoon. Um, yeah, this is a little bit weird, so I think we should freak out now. Huh? What? Ah, this doesn't make any sense. How could sunflowers return to cocoons? Oh my gosh, gosh. Wait, guys, did you know something? What? She's not talking. Wait a minute. Why do I feel strong flow of energy coming from that cocoon? Oh no. I think it's going to... Uh-oh. What's that? Sunflower, you're alive, but how did this happen? I don't get make any sense, and, 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 don't worry, I'll explain. While I was in that cocoon, I remembered something, and I was trying to tell all of you, but you guys were just freaking out, because you couldn't freaking understand me in this stupid freaking cocoon. Wait, I'm sorry. I remembered something that my mama, Sunflower, told me in about 1972. It happened a long time ago. I was just a little baby sunflower. Barely two. <laughs> I still have my diaper. When my sweet, sweet mother told me what was just going to happen, what you saw today. And she said, Hey, honey, I'm just here. I'm going to tell you that in 2012, of June 16, when you turn 15 years old, you're going to go and turn into a cocoon, and you're going to become really weird, and your body's going to be shifting, and the cocoon will split open with weird Skrillex music, and you will become an adult sunflower, just like Mommy. But I was just a baby, so I didn't really understand what she meant. Wow. Who knew your mom would tell you that? Yeah. Uh-huh. I didn't really know what it meant, but now I do. When I was in that cocoon, I finally realized that. From my perspective, when he shows a flashback, your mother didn't really seem very nice. Hey! Ellen, what else did she tell you? Well, she also told me. Oh, yeah. And I just want to tell you that because you're going to grow up and soon that will happen to you. And also, your cousin Marigold is going to be visiting you for a picnic. Yay! Marigold and Mommy! I know, it's excited. Now let's go for a freaking picnic. Yay! But hey, that's not really that important. Yeah, but what I wonder, will this ever, well, happen to you again? Oh heck no, Yoshika. This only happens once in the life cycle of a sunflower. This will never happen ever again of the cocoon thing. That only happens when a sunflower matures. Now, there is another thing that happens, like when a sunflower becomes old, it like turns into a bunch of flames when it withers and dies and becomes old and completely useless. Oh, yeah. Well, the good thing is that that's not going to happen in a while. Yeah, let's just celebrate the time that you're here. Yes! I'm so glad you're here, Sunflower. I look even better than ever. Yeah, <laughs> Sunflower. I mean, seriously, I always used to think that you were smaller than me, but look at us now. <laughs> uh-huh. Now you're not going to have to call me tiny anymore because I'm huge. And I'm way bigger than you. Oh, come on. You're not that bigger than Blackbird. Okay, you are bigger than him. Blackbird, now we're gonna. Blackbird, now we're gonna start calling you the tiny guy or tiny bird. Hey! It's going to get hard to get used to Sunflower's new form, but I like it. It really suits her. I'm so glad that you're back, and I'm so glad. 